I'm totally going to review this game. I hope you know. Oh, here we go. I can tell you now. It's good. The graphics. I reckon... I reckon they get a 10 out of 10, to be quite honest with you. Yeah. Because there's absolutely nothing wrong with them. Lovely effects, beautiful graphics. Just, just great. All the areas are amazingly designed. The graphics are just... Ah! Oh, yum! And yes. It's so very tasty. The graphics get a 10 out of 10. The sound, audio, music and all that, they get a... Um, what do they get? I reckon they get a 9. I can't exactly explain why it doesn't get a 10, because it's like classified information. No, it isn't. I just don't know how to explain it. It's well, like something to do with the sounds or... I don't know exactly. But anyway, all the music is very nice, fitting to the areas, or well, fitting to the game, the feel of the game and all that. The voice acting is cool. British! Or, or maybe it isn't. Yeah, it probably is. Buy my trousers, I must escape. Yeah. What's going on here? Anyway, that's enough of that. But anyway, I don't just like it because it's British, but yeah, the voice acting is good. Good as it needs to be. In fact, it is good. It's not just as good as it needs to be. It's fine. It's good. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, cough. Gameplay is such fun! I'd say 9 out of 10, because there are some times when, like, I'm trying to think of some that I can give an, as an example, but sometimes... I mean, overall, it works, it's just absolutely fine, and it's just totally fun to play. I mean, it must be. I've played this, like, five times now, from start to finish. And I've only had it since Christmas sales. Well, then again, that's a long time ago by the time I upload this, but... You know, I've had it for about a month. Not even a month yet. I've had it for less than a month, and I've completed it five times from start to finish. It's just so fun! And there are so many ways to get through the levels. Each time I played it, I found something new. A different way of doing something, you know? There's lots of hidden stuff. The fighting is fun. It's not too challenging. Because there's checkpoints all over the place. You don't actually die and have to restart the whole level. That is one of the things that makes it so fun, I think. Because it's just about fun. It's not all about being hard as fudge. It's nice and challenging though. It's as challenging as it needs to be. God, it's fun! I can't quite think of what doesn't give it a 10, but I know there's something. For example, just some of the little bits are a bit awkward things, but you know, it's nothing, nothing major. It's all awesome. Storyline? Well, the storyline doesn't really matter, does it? So I'm going to forget the storyline. I'm not going to give it a number. You know, the storyline was... was you know, it doesn't need to be good. The game is about having fun. But still, the storyline was fairly... Well... It's good enough. Who cares? It's good. There's not much to it, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, um... Life's about a replay value. Oh! Oh! There's all the Steam achievements, of course, as usual. Um, quite a bunch of levels, to be honest. 15 levels, or was it 16? One of those two. Sure, it's not, overall, it's not a long game. Oh, a few hours. Heck, maybe like three or four hours, maybe. Even longer if you want to get all the experience and stuff. God! And it's just completely bloody fun. Life's better replay value gets a... Uh, it gets an 8. Yep. Why doesn't it get a 9 or a 10? Because it's only the normal levels. It would have been nice if there was a level editor. 
It would have been nice if there was a... Or like some kind of extra levels or something. Just something extra, you know? Because all there really is in it is the levels that you play anyway. And all the experience and stuff hidden within those levels. But still, it's just... Oh. Overall, this game... This game gets a 10 out of 10 from me. It's fairly indie, I believe. Frozen by it, like they're not a big company or anything. It's just, oh! Masterful work! Frozen by it. It's one of the best purchases I've made in a long time. Well, I've made a lot of good purchases, but... You know... Freaking awesome game. Love it. Now I can finally... No, I can't uninstall it yet. I've got to get the rest of the achievements. Oh, here come the thanks. No, thank you, Frozen Byte, for making such a wonderful game. And thank you, people, for watching this playthrough of this wonderful game. And thank me for making this playthrough for you to watch this wonderful... Wonderful playthrough of this wonderful game. Yeah. Thank me. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. We gotta wait for the credits to finish. Coffee? They thanked coffee. I would. Um. Avec, Arto, Bugbear, Chefs, Watkins, Farmind, Finvera, Future Mark, Garage Games Community, Handsoft, Housemark, Igda, Finland Chapter, Kimasema, Lapland Studio, Mountain Sheep. Mountain Sheep! Mr. Good Living, Neo Games, Pixelane, Recall Games, Red Links, Remedy Entertainment, Rovio, Secret Exit, Sumia Digital Chocolate, Suomen Pelinka, Hedget Rai, Sukeskus Tekus, Turbo Squid Virtual Air Guitar Company. Game utilizes physics, physics engine by NVIDIA. Oh, shameless advertising. Oh, no, it isn't. I certainly hope one of these bits of the credits stays in the middle of the screen. Or at least at the top or something. Stay! No! It all disappears! Now the mouse is going on a spaz out! Oh! Wait, is it restarting? Yeah, it's restarting. That was a lovely game. Thanks for watching. 10 out of 10. Buy it today or else you will pay for... yum oh I even missed loads kind of not as much as I did the original two times I played but yeah there's still plenty left to get but it doesn't matter why I'll tell you why wait Wait. How do I...